So Venus, we have Kill Me, our bot. Won our first game. Sing Vla also won the first game as well. So we No, Hume, Hume lost his first game. His second round he got a free win. Oh, oh, alright, alright. Okay, okay. So he he's the lucky one who got the buy. <laughs> yeah, he got a buy this turn. Do you think the the game was giving him a pity coin? Um I I, <laughs> I have no idea. Okay, so who who should we look at right now? Mm, let's watch Retrend? Retrend is one of the top 16s from last week as well. Alright, let's hop into Retrend game. <laughs> Hume is saying, every time I want to play, I get buys. So, Retrend actually has a Draw Ranger. Draw Ranger is one of the game winning hero by himself. Okay, let's look at their deck. Uh, Richard has a bot of Devil Curls. Tanite Halfa and No 7 and Speed Drops. Mm. Frixus has Thunderhide Pack, Emissary and the Rose Leaf and Oreo Concrete. So based on the deck, uh, what what do you think? What do you, who is the favorite here? Um Basically Richard he has so Venom, so that is a very annoying card yeah. for players in lane actually. So if he actually managed to cast so Venom this turn in lane 3 and keep all his wards there, that is a very very good way for him to snowball on lane 3. Yeah. Especially when lane, his lane 2 currently as you can see has the Mist of Avernus, which I feel that he should have put in the lane with the Dimension Portal and the, the wards. Just, just the wards, right? Yeah, because... Yeah. Without stuff like uh, Mist of Erinus or uh, the Oath or Disciple of Nevermore, Soul Venom, the piercing damage is annoying against heroes mm -hmm. or creeps, but it actually doesn't hit tower very hard. Yeah. So, especially in this lane where you see Ma his Maxi has 3 armor. Yeah. And it goes through the armor. I guess he has Brawl, so which is fine. But unfortunately, two of two of his heroes just die. Well, uh, this could be a chance for him to redeploy Venno into lane two with the Miss of Evanus there. Yeah. So, lane two. I've learned that to play against Miss of Evanus, you, you, you can't really let the lane. You, you can't really give up the lane, because uh, it just runs runs out of control yeah. over a few turns, and the AT pressure is coming very fast. So but all... it seems that this is what um, Frixer has already done. He deployed his heroes, yeah. his Farvan into lane tree instead. Yeah, so I think you will never be able to race against the Miss of Avernus lane if you leave it alone. And he has draw as well. Yeah. So based on the bot state, I think a return is slightly favored here. Yeah, ex exactly. So the the blue green deck is a very very annoying kind of way to play the game as well. I think deck wise, both of them are pretty equal. I would even uh favorite Frixer slight slightly first because he's two colors. Uh, two colors mm -hmm. has a little, a little bit more consistency, and Frixus has actually a very good, very solid late game creeps. Conscript, yeah, that's true. Quorum and Thunder Hide Pack, and the in Intimidation. Yeah, but if you see currently in lane two, um, the tower has only 8 HP left, which means it, it will be down by the next turn. Yeah. And he has to arm the rebellions in his deck as well, so all he has to do is just so Venom for one turn, and then afterwards just keep enough for arm the. But but that 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 also means that uh you, he, to to make that play you have to deploy both Venomancer and Draw Ranger to the middle lane. Yeah, but but that that's what I would do because 
like I mentioned earlier, his miss of Evanus is in that lane. So that's naturally the lane you want to try and push as fast as you can. Yeah, but don't don't you think that I mean, uh, the last lane will, might be a little bit risky? Because you only have one hero there. I guess it's completely blocked now, so it's not in uh, danger anytime soon. But then, I, I think the safer play is to drop the two. One, one of them middle and put yeah. one of them right. Or even both of them right is fine. Because you just you just need to solve one lane. The, mid, the middle lane will, will do its stuff by itself. So that's what I think. I think you either put one or both to the right lane. Or one left, one right. Alright, looks like he's deploying draw middle and Renault right. I think this is a fair play as well. Because you want your draw to survive. And Venom has Soul Venom which can in technically infinitely stall with the bananas that he brings in. Yeah, so I think Richard middle lane after this it will probably die in three turns. Including this turn. So for Frixus, he has two turns to make a move. To try to kill the first and last lane. Which is possible. So first lane is taking down already. Mm -hmm. And last lane, as we can see, Richard, the Venor is straight in front of the sand the Farron, which is going to die this turn. There's actually no way for Richard to save to save them. Yeah he can't save his bed or... Yeah but un unfortunately Frixer's hand is not that solid as well. You have like three Prowler Vanguards. <laughs> and there's not really any proactive card to cast. You have your Oreo Cops tosser. <laughs> He's going to throw corpses at, at your tower. So middle lane. I, I will put the Legion standard barrel in the middle lane. So yeah. the mist will start giving him damage as well. Legion standard barrel push for five extra. Arm the rebellion push pushes for four extra. So yeah, Legion Standard Barrel is the like the better play here. Because you you're not there's there's nowhere else that you can cast it right. Yep. First turn, first round, first lane maybe, but the middle lane is probably slightly better. So over here we see a rather unlucky shot by the Venom Ward. Like if he shot the Legion Standard the the Standard Barrel, he would have saved his Venom. Yeah. But Sally he So Frixus What do you do? You probably play one of your creep. Or you can play clear the deck. I think the clear deck is slightly better. Yeah, I think clear yeah. deck is very strong. It clears the board and you know that Return has no has only one hero coming in next turn. So this is a this is a good chance for Frixus to turn turn the board. Yep. And we know that uh, there's no creeps. Oh, but the creeps. But the creep is so good for Return. Yeah, so the creep spawn is actually quite good. It technically blocks out the whole deck. Yeah, except right. for one of one of the creeps, the, the, the units. Yeah, one of the Okay, so, so it doesn't block Maxi. So take 10 damage. And we know Region has no creeps on the on the right lane. Uh, on, on his hand, so he can't do anything. Mm -hmm. So as Region, you probably play... Uh... Oh, look at, look at lane 2. This is a very <laughs> unlucky <laughs> error by... Oh yeah, so is there anything that... The creep is taking <laughs> damage. Is there anything that he can remove? Um, he don't. He doesn't have any cards like Sucker Punch, which can 
Oh, Sucker Punch doesn't kill it yeah. either, so... Yeah, so this is a hero crit. <laughs> Takes 23 yeah, for the team. So, would you say, try to... Will you play the Ogre here to save the tower? Or you play it in the middle lane? As we trend. After he planted the decoy, I wouldn't play the ogre because yeah. even if he tries to block the satyr, the decoy will just swap it out. So, so I think the decoy is swapping the ursa out here. Yeah, he's probably swapping the ursa. So I, I probably would let ursa die because the lane is done, right? He's okay, so he swapped up for Van. And for any reason? For, for extra damage. Yeah, but the tower doesn't take. Oh, so it TPs us out. Oh, okay. Is, I think that is weird. That's a fair play. Yeah. It's weird, but it is a fair play. And he's TPing Keef out as well. So he has decided to forsaken lane 1. Yeah, so lane 1. Nothing happening right there. So with this creep spawn, I think... Fixer might have gained him himself one more turn, but we know Rachel Hand has two arm of the rebellion. Uh, look at the twelve damage on the ogre's conscript. Yeah. So what I would do next turn is actually I would um, next turn has eight mana. So what I would do is I would put Keith on lane three, and then my Venom will just go to lane two, so Venom and then I'm the rebellion. Or we can just play both of them on lane two. Right? Ah, uh, yeah. You can do that as well. Because it's taking 57. And next turn, only one creep is... One hero is coming. And it's a red hero. There's nothing a red hero can do. So it looks like... It looks like... Fixer can't really do anything. Unless he managed to kill the tower this turn. Yeah. Which is pretty unlikely. <laughs> and even the... The tree, Rose Leaf Rejuvenator, is not hitting straight. The tree is not a straight tree. Alright, that should be GG for Fixus. Yeah, this is probably GG for him. Yeah, we probably just put two to two, both of them middle. By right, putting Venom right is the safer play. Technically, the safer play. In, in, instead, in case of crazy curves, which is not that crazy, so th there's only one curve, which is a key fee. So armed and rebellion gives you six damage. Yeah, but he can use pick a fight to aim the tower instead. Oh yeah, that's true. Ah, uh, and it's later already, so... So, Princess can block one. So who do you block? You block the conscript, right? Yeah, definitely the conscript. So, block... You, if you block the conscript, return, pick the fight, on the Kifi and play any of his cards, that would be enough. Yep, so he blocks the conscript. So, what I would do is I will pick a fight and aim Keith at the tower and then just arm the rebellion for the extra 4 damage. Yeah. Or you just play anything. Trusting is enough. Fighting Yep, so that's what he does. <laughs> Fighting instinct is enough. Arm rebellion is enough. Short sword is enough. That's his fact. Richard has plenty yeah. of damage. So let's see what he's gonna do next. Yeah. So you... I mean, a crazy play yeah. would be to put Bracer of Sacrifice on us uh, and just bomb out the creeps. I, I guess that, that, that will work. That actually saves him, right? Yeah, that, that's a very, very risky save play that, to save him. That, that, that's your only outs. So let's see whether he will do it. Oh, he does it! Yeah. 
So this is a uh, kamikaze trying to save your country. <laughs> bomb, if the bomb is takes up twelve damage. Yeah, there it does. Okay. So, armed rebellion pushes for two. That's not enough. So I guess Frixus just earned himself one more turn. Yeah, which he has to kill the third lane by this this turn. So, is he able to kill the third lane by this this turn? Based on what's in his hand. So um, if you intimidate the 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 Venom, Venom, it gives you fifteen damage more. 15 so damage. that's twenty three. Uh, which is not enough. Rebel decoy Rebel. adds two more. Yeah. So that's twenty five. So it's if, not enough. If he has done the math, he should know that's not enough, right? Yeah, exactly. So there's nothing else he can do here. So what is there anything that can draw that helps him to re store the second lane for one more round? I guess it has to be the creeps. But sadly, <laughs> there is no creeps. So I guess... I guess that's game over. That's game over. He has five Palo and Gas in his, in his hand. <laughs> For Frixus. Yeah, why why do, does he have so many Palo and Gas in his deck? Because he has two Farwins. Oh right, yeah, but it's kind of... Drawing all of them is kind of sad. Yeah, drawing all of them so early in the game is very sad. He's just so that's it. what he's doing. <laughs> he's just footing it for the sake of footing it. Yeah. That's ceremonial playing your cards before you lose. And then in lane 2... Worst come to worst, I think... There you go. If yeah. Richard wants to BM... Show me a worthy opponent. Ah, there we go. It's the conceit by Fixer. Well played, Retran. Well played. Well played, well played. Sick deck, sick deck. Okay, so who's next? Let's jump into Singla deck. A Singla and Eleria. Both of them were here last week. Alright. Singla is our second first run up. For our... Oh, I see an X. X for Aluria. So the I just drafted an X this afternoon, and I went zero two. <laughs> <laughs> well, what were your, were your other cards? I, I had two Ogre and two I, and and I played two Debbie. So the thing I uh... find out that X himself is not as powerful if you don't have. Plus one strong rate heroes, or you don't have good rate cards, because uh, your opponent just leaves the axe alone, and you, you, your 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 axe doesn't really do anything. Yeah, so that's that's what usually what happens when you play an axe. They just leave the lane with your axe. Yeah. And so the thing about axe, uh, if you have another rate hero where you can also cast a burst burst calls, mm -hmm. it will be significantly stronger instead of just himself. Yeah, so usually what people just leaves. Yeah, so okay, so back to the game. Um currently we see Singla with one tower down. And um in his hand he has a at any cost, which is a card for a bot wipe. So you <laughs> Rich Rich I mean I, I mean there's, there's no lane he can actually board white because 6 damage is... <laughs> Risto I mean, emblem. Look, look, look at the Bloodseeker in lane 3. He has 18 health. <laughs> it's a Bloodseeker that never die. Yeah, how, how, how are you gonna kill a Bloodseeker with 18 health? And with a Blink Dagger. So the good thing of... The, the not so good thing of Bloodseeker that is... First you never die, so sometimes you want your hero to die. So that you can move it around. But to compensate that, he has a blink dagger. So it's actually a monster. 
it's like Dota. <laughs> you have six slots yeah. of Blur Seeker. Just run at, runs at you and kill you. So based on the bot state, uh, who is winning right now? So Aleria has taken down the first tower. And Singlar has not taken any tower yet. So do you play at any cost yet? Doesn't really seem to do anything. Yeah, I don't think you do anything here. Yeah, so we point the X to the right, and maybe you heal to play around Brisker Call. And Elyria can only play the Heart Socket. Deck wise, it looks like Singla has slightly more late game cards. Mm -hmm. Eleria doesn't really have any top ends. Versical Calls and Marrow well, Fell Brawler, and that's all. He has called the reserve. That is quite an underwhelming card for 6 mana cost. Yeah, that, that's what I think too. I think 6 mana summon 2 creeps, which is 4 8. Mm -hmm. So, what what's the. Uh, rationale of leaving Crystal Maiden. I guess you save Crystal Maiden, but you, you yes. take extra nine damage. Yeah, Singlar he heroes are stranded in the first lane. Okay, not really stranded because he's also taking the tower. Mm -hmm. But looks like his second and third lane is not doing very well. It's, it feels like Elyria is in the upper hand right now. Okay, so now um, the game kind of changes a changes a bit with the gang drop. The the gang, the gang yeah. yeah. So who who would you gank here? You gank? <laughs> there's there's only one people that you can gank that will kill. Is that actually there's no yeah, one, nobody there's that you nobody can kill? Can <laughs> yeah. You can gank a creep. Okay, you can you can gang the creep in front of. Okay, oh I... wow, <laughs> he made a play. He made the play, yeah. So uh, I guess he was hoping that uh, maybe it goes to the last lane. It's... Last lane is probably easier to to defend, and middle lane has the miss of Everness active for Aleria. Mm -hmm. So what? One thing that you can do here is you gang somebody and you play the at any cost. So yeah, that's that's the only thing he can do actually. It will clear all the creeps and one of the heroes. So who would you want to kill? Probably the necro, right? Especially when X now has the cloak. Yeah, I think I don't think that you can kill X. So 9 damage on X deals 7, it will set X at 5, at any cost deals 6 damage but X has 2 armor, so X doesn't die to this combo. I like this gang on the creep. What? I, I, I actually like the, this gang on the creep, uh, because oh. it opens up the... If Elyria, the for the yeah, if Elyria does not have a blocker, uh, it, it will pay off greatly, but we know that Elyria has. Yes, it's Tyler Estate Sensor. Tyler Estate and uh, Rose Leaf Rose Boot. Oh, and if he does it, if he plays both those lanes, those creeps, it's actually lethal on lane 3. But you have the cute little happy tree coming to take away your sword. Yeah. I think he he probably should have casted his at any cost on the last lane. Uh, on the middle lane. To take away yeah, to take away all these creeps so that uh, you're not facing any any you're, you're facing less less pressure basically. 
So I, it feels like should be done for Sing Hula. Can't really do anything, and middle lane is dying. Yep, and there's no heroes and creeps, so this is game over for Mr. Singla. Singla. I guess our first runner up for our previous week has fallen to Miss Elyria. Oh, that's a concept. Yes, that's a GG. That's a GG. So Singla now is at one and one. So I think uh, with hundred player plus, if with one loss, it's already impossible to get first place. Mm -hmm, but they uh, can think... still try to win the chance to play in the invitationals. Yeah. On the point. So our point system that we are trying out right now, uh, the first, the top three, basically get the same same points, right? Is it top three? Mm -hmm. So top one to three get six points. The next three gets um four points, and then from top seven to top ten, they will be getting two points, and the remaining five, we'll get the remaining point. five, the remaining six players will get one point. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's hop into Lafoka and the Gu Zhua Yan Mo. Can you read Chinese? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I can. Okay, uh, but 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 the, the the game is over. <laughs> the game is over. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> Chat was saying who is Sing, <laughs> Sing Bla. Then Hume replied, "Not Sing Sing." <laughs> and we wish Sing Sing was here. There's one series. One more series to complete. Okay, so so let's hop into that game. Candlelight against. Oh, it's candlelight's match again. I guess we have fate with candlelight. So this GL two N artifact is actually someone from the Philippines, and he was here mm -hmm. on my stream yesterday. Ah. So based on the based on the bot state, what's happening? What's happening? Um, Candlelight is winning lane 2, which I can see from the top left. 51 damage, 51 health on the Ancient, but it's still gonna... Wow, I guess it has... Must, yeah. has a, oh, that's red. Oh, like, there's how many pillager are this? There's like 8 of them. Yeah, so he has 55 damage on the Ancient, which is... Actually... That's enough? Yeah, game over. So, I think our GL2N can still draw one more, draw for conflagration, and that will be enough to solve the second lane. No, nope. no. um, and it, it will be locked he has anyway. the yeah, he has the hourglass in yeah. lane two, I think. In in a Luna, on a, on oh, a on a Luna, yeah, so. That should be enough. Yeah, so just playing the cards, showing off. That. He is trying so hard to <laughs> kill the Luna, but the Luna doesn't die. Oh, you can frostbite. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter what he plays right now. Can like you just spamming the face bar. Alright, press the button and GG. Red Mist Pillager is a really scary card. It, it's yeah. a win condition by himself if you play it on the right lane and the right, at the right turn. 